Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here with Nathan Moss and Lee Sachs with their movies, Stooges and Little Paradise. Let's take a look at some clips. Tite Paradis, the gateway to happiness. Why is the name in French? It's more sophisticated. Featuring breathtaking scenery, outdoor activities, free Wi-Fi. Wait, there's internet here? No. Nathan and Lee, it's awesome to have you here to be able to share about your movies, which is brilliant that you had two selected. Tell us a brief synopsis of your films. Maybe, Nathan, you can start. Well, of, of this particular film, I like to call it a misanthropic adventure. Oh, I love it. Um, it's, uh, it's about a group of malcontents living in a motel out in the desert. Um, and we get some new arrivals that spark a catalyst for a large, fun chain of events. It's a really fun chain of events. Um, <laughs> um, so, I mean, you both had, you know, two films selected, which is amazing. So obviously you guys are working really fantastic together. Um, how do you guys find each other? He, his DP, who used to uh, shoot a lot of the shorts that he, uh, he directed early on, um, was friends with a mutual friend of mine. And then when he was getting, up, getting ready to do a short film called uh, Little Odessa, which was actually screened at New Filmmakers in like 2009, 2010, it's a long, long time ago. But anyway, uh, he wanted some people to help you know, organize it and sort of help produce it. And that's uh, when they called me and that's when we met. Wow. We've sort of been making stuff ever since then. Well, where did you come up with the idea, the inspiration? Well, I guess the inspiration came from uh, the short that we did. It's an ensemble. Um, the, our, our movie Little Paradise uh, and so there was two characters um, that were in our short mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I just expanded uh, upon them. Is it nice when you find like a, a, a group of people and a team of people and you're like oh yeah I want to like I want to work with those guys again when you've made a short film and then you've made a feature film because we get a lot of people that come in and say oh I want to turn the short into a feature right. and you guys have actually done that is that is what what kind of experience is that what kind of is a is it a whole new ball game when you're making a feature to a short I don't even think it's like the same thing. It's, it's like a totally different, different sport, different universe. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, I have, uh, uh, I'm editing a movie right now, um, and it's a 44 day shoot. Wow. Uh, in South Africa, um, as opposed to like, I mean, it's not taking anything away from people's short films and things. It's just, it's completely different to hold that level of sort of stress and anxiety. And um, it's just a marathon compared to a sprint. You had, I mean, had some really great cast members in there that worked so well together. How, how was the casting process for you guys? Um, well, like you said, about, I, I, I work with a lot of the same people. Mm -hmm. So um, from our web series to shorts to uh, when we first moved to Los Angeles and started, you know, putting things together with various people and people come and go. Mm -hmm. um, but when I find, you know, a group of actors that, uh, uh, that I want to work with and I, you know, really like working with, um, I stick with them and then I write things, you know, specifically for them. And this was such an ensemble piece. There was like 12 or 13. Hours yeah, a lot of people in there, yeah. Um, so there was like sort of four probably that are my main people that we use all the time. Uh, and then, you know, we found other people in all kinds of places. So, I mean, you guys mentioned there was obviously a challenge with the timing, but what would you say some of your biggest challenges were making the films? Man, they're sort of endless <laughs> challenges. We could be here for hours. Uh, certainly, um, location, mm -hmm. finding the right motel, the right, yeah. the right look, and uh, we got very, very lucky sort of in the 11th hour. Like, the train was moving and we, we knew we were going to start shooting, but we didn't really know where we were going <laughs> to start shooting, and the plan kind of came together pretty quickly out of necessity. Mm -hmm. um, so that, I think that was a really big early challenge, for sure. Yeah, well, it's funny because I work, when I'm working as an editor, so I work on really large budget movies, and, and it's funny that it... Um, it's the same, you know, even at a, a large <coughs> studio, mm -hmm. when the, once the ball starts rolling, it's like you're on or off and people yeah. are flying left and, oh, yeah, they didn't have that actor, so we'll get that actor. And then you just, right. it's mm -hmm. moving. And, and that's kind of the only way I think you can do it. I don't think you mm -hmm. can just sit there and get everything into place and start. You have to like, okay, there's the date we're shooting on that date. We have yeah. that location. We have that one actor and everything else. It's, you know, they can come or they can't come. Yeah. And it's really important, I think, to, to realize that it's a collaboration and there's not one person that can make it or derail it. So, yeah. so as long as you're always thinking like, we lost that person or that person can't do it because their agent said this or whatever, yeah. to always go like, 
that no one person is the most important thing in this. This is a large collaboration, and we're going to do it with or without, you know, whoever we have. And I mean, two completely different aspects, but I, I, I love the music, and you know, I also love the cinematography as well. Um, how important was that to your to, to the films? Oh, I mean, it's in, you know incredibly important. Uh, Katie Goldschmidt is our cinematographer, um, and Douglas Pipes is um, he scored all of my movies, and he's. Um, uh, as as I've been told, he's he's way too talented and, um, <laughs> uh, and, and well known and big, big for us. But he he graces us with his talent. And, wow! Um, especially if we have a little window, and he's um, uh, he's he's incredible. Yeah, and she's she did an amazing job too. Yeah, I think um, you know the cinematography and production design as well, like really made made a, a lot with a little. Yeah. You know? And that helped a lot. Robert Fox, yeah, uh, our production designer. designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's great. He's a close friend of mine, and um, uh, yeah, he built that motel. There was nothing there. Yeah, there were no walls. Place. Wow. Yeah, it was just an empty building. That that was Shell. just full of asbestos and yeah. like crap on the ground. Really, I could, you wouldn't even notice that. Yeah, wow, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, one of our actors, Eric, who plays Zach, was was saying later on. He was like, "Yeah, we were told not to lean on any walls. It <laughs> all, all come tumbling down." I think uh, it's the first time in sort of new filmmakers history we've had two films being selected um, by you both, which is absolute credit to you guys. Um, what was it like to have your film selected for new filmmakers Los Angeles? Well, we've been with them. I mean, I, the first film I did was 2008 at the yeah. Architecture and Design Museum, part of the first uh, uh, on location um, screening. I mean, truly guys are alumni, like really. Uh, so they've been really supportive and great mm -hmm. friends and it's always it's a it's a great venue and a great screening especially like a local screening because you can invite um you know anybody in town that's yeah. available without having to um you know usually get into film festival that could be somewhere else it's like a great sort of local opportunity yeah what uh, one thing would you would you say about if you were to make your first feature film what if you got a piece of advice you would give someone the specificity was really important and um yeah, and, and i've said this to students and to people uh in general if you um, are interested in blue aliens that are vegetarians go make that movie because there are blue aliens that are vegetarians and you will find that community and they will find you um, online uh, you don't have to um, you don't have to spend that much to make a movie anymore so if you find your niche you're going to get money from the blue alien vegetarians um, <laughs> and you're going to get support from them and then they're going to go see your movie in the end so um, I love that's, that. that's really important, I think, specificity. I yeah. Blue Alien Vegetarians, can that be the next <laughs> script? Because that sounds, I'm, 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 I'm in your fan club, that's great. <laughs> um, guys, it's always a pleasure to have you, and thank you so much for you giving us your wonderful talents again. And uh, we look forward to uh, the future and uh, your next film, so thank you so much. Great, thanks cool. a lot. Thank thanks. you.